Hello, I'm Dr. Rob Young, a business psychologist and a coach at a consultancy called Talent Space. And I'd like to talk to you about your personality. Your personality is the way that you think and feel about the world, which manifests in how you behave. When other people see how you generally behave, they may use certain adjectives to describe how you come across. And these adjectives can be quite a good indicator as to your fundamental personality. Now, it's important to understand our personality because studies show that people with certain personalities are more likely to succeed in the workplace. One large-scale study found that the multiple correlation between personality factors and leadership was 0.48. In contrast, the correlation between IQ, so traditional intelligence, and leadership is only 0.27. Also, other studies have shown that when people have a better level of fit between their personality and their work, they also tend to earn more money. So what I'm going to suggest is that you collect feedback from other people so that they can tell you how they see you. Now, most psychologists agree that there are somewhere between five and seven dimensions of personality. So what I'm going to do is to talk you through five fundamental aspects of personality and give you questions that you can ask of other people so that they can rate you. I'm going to use the acronym TRIED, so T-R-I-E-D, which stands for tact, resilience, inquisitiveness, extroversion and diligence. So T for tact is a measure of the extent to which you seek harmony and consensus in your relationships and interactions with other people. So ask other people to rate you on a 10 point scale, where a 10 represents them seeing you as someone who is very sympathetic, very supportive, but perhaps not very good at speaking up for yourself. In contrast, a score of a one would say that you are much more willing to be critical of other people. R for resilience is a measure of the extent to which you are emotionally stable as opposed to emotionally volatile. So again, ask people to rate you on a 10 point scale where a 10 represents them seeing you as someone who is very calm and confident. In contrast, a score of one represents seeing you as more easily upset and anxious. I for inquisitiveness is a measure of the extent to which you have many different interests in the world. So ask people to rate you on a 10 point scale, where a 10 means that they see you as someone who is very open to new, even odd experiences, and that you have many varied complex interests. In contrast, a one represents seeing you as someone who has fewer, narrower interests. E for extroversion, as you probably already know, is the extent to which you seek out stimulation from external events and other people. So ask people to rate you on a 10 point scale, where a 10 represents you being someone who is very outgoing and enthusiastic. In contrast, a score of one suggests that you are very much more reserved and quieter. D for diligence is a measure of the extent to which you are careful and conscientious in life. So on a 10 point scale, that 10 would represent you being someone who is very disciplined and organized. Whereas a one would mean that you are someone who is much more impulsive and disorganized. Now, remember that this exercise is not about you rating yourself. It's about getting other people to tell you how they see you. Now, when you have gathered feedback from a number of other people, then calculate your average, your mean scores, and try to work out your implications for each of the five personality dimensions. Now, psychologists tell us that actually it's difficult to change your fundamental personality. 
However, you can choose more effective behavior in different situations to allow you to do better in different work situations. Now, in the long term, it's also a good idea to think about your level of fit between your personality and the work that you may choose. For example, if you are someone who is very high on extroversion, that suggests that you would do well in work that allows you a lot of customer or client contact and a lot of relationship building. In contrast, if you are much lower on extroversion, then perhaps you would do better doing more technical or analytical work. In summary, then, there are several good reasons for understanding your personality. Firstly, you can choose more effective behavior at work to allow you to be more successful. And in the long run, you can also choose occupations and organizations that allow you to be yourself more of the time. And that way, hopefully, you will thrive.